Michael Venom Page versus Cyborg Santos in London. MVP, he's unorthodox, he is fast, he's physical, he is unpredictable, he's a showman inside the cage. Great with his hands, great with his feet, unorthodox with every strike he throws. The one criticism, when's he gonna face that top guy? When is he gonna face that contender? That's Cyborg Santos. Santos has been in the game forever. The last time he took on a contender at 170 pounds, it was Brennan Ward and submitted him first minute, first round. This is a guy who's not gonna see the antics of MVP. He's not gonna see the style of MVP and suddenly get intimidated. He's not gonna stop and get scared. He's not gonna stop and be intimidated by taking on a guy in his hometown, in London, with the fans screaming for MVP. None of that's gonna bother him. He's the consummate professional. He's the road warrior who's been here a million times. Big test for MVP and he has to pass. Keys to victory for MVP, stay MVP. Do the things you're good at. Fight from the outside, throw combinations, do the distracting things that get fighters mentally out of fights. Win at long range. Cyborg Santos has great Muay Thai in close, good elbows and knees. He doesn't want to play that game. Stay outside where his speed is more of a factor. Keys to victory for Cyborg Santos, don't be a spectator. Come forward, don't worry about what he's doing, worry about your game, stay mentally in the fight, which I think a veteran like him can easily do. Also, get in close, use your jujitsu. Against Brendan Ward, a young, hungry, fast fighter at 170 pounds, he got this fight to the ground and won with a leg lock. If MVP has an Achilles heel, it's that. He doesn't have ground experience like Cyborg Santos does. Use that black belt, show him why you have it. MVP versus Cyborg Santos, the biggest test of MVP's career in front of his hometown crowd. Can he handle the pressure? That's the question.